Hey guys, today we'll cover the knife tool. Quick reminder, this lesson is from our complete intro to Blender course that we're offering for free for a limited time on YouTube. If you're new here, I'd recommend starting at the beginning of the course. I've added a link in the description. All right, go ahead and open up Blender and let's jump right in. To begin this lesson, let's start a new file. So go up to your file menu and pick the option for new, general, and you don't need to save the file that we were working on in the previous lesson. Okay, in this lesson, we start with the default cube, press the tab key to switch to edit mode, and click once in space to deselect everything. Then you can roll your mouse wheel forward a bit to zoom in on the cube. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk about a way to subdivide this object, but rather than using the subdivide command, which operates in a pre-programmed way, we're gonna talk about a tool that we can use to subdivide things however we want. So there's a tool that we used briefly way back a few lessons ago called the knife tool. And if you hover over this icon here, it says knife. Remember, if you wanna see the names for the tools without having to hover over them, you can hover just to the right till you get these arrows, click, hold down and drag them out until you can see the names there. And the knife tool, if you hover over it, you see also that the shortcut is K. So we'll use the shortcut for it. So press K on your keyboard and your cursor will switch to a knife icon. And let's try it out. So first of all, over on the left-hand side here, go ahead and click somewhere along this top edge. Notice you can subdivide anywhere on this top edge. So click once and let go. And then move the mouse and you see that you're drawing or cutting with a line here. Now, if you go all the way to the bottom edge, somewhere along it, and you snap to it, go ahead and click again. Then if you move your mouse, you notice it wants to continue using the knife tool. But let's say that all you wanted to do was subdivide the object in this way. So you really just wanted to subdivide this face with one edge. You go ahead and hit the enter key on your keyboard and that will make that stick. And if you orbit to the side, you'll notice that you have one vertex here, one vertex here, and that edge there. So you basically sliced that face such that you now have two faces. And now that you have two faces, go ahead and press the three key on the top of your keyboard to switch to face selection mode. Click once on this outside face. And an example of what you might do is, let's say you wanted to extrude this. So come over to the extrude tool, click and hold down and go to where it says extrude manifold and let go to select the extrude manifold tool. And then hover over this yellow handle here, click and hold down and begin to drag it in and let go. And you notice now you're able to begin carving this shape, but it's different than if you had used the subdivide command because you're able to have that angle there from the get go. Hey everyone, we're doing something a little unconventional here. And for a limited time, we're giving you access to one of our paid courses for free right here on YouTube. And this lesson is a part of it. Blender is a beast of a program to learn, but with the right approach, it doesn't have to be. That's why we created Blender Academy, to help people build the Blender skills they need and then go out and get the jobs they want. We hope you find these lessons to be a good investment of your time. If you do, and you're serious about learning Blender, head over to our website and continue learning with us. Thanks for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and now, back to the lesson. Okay, so with the knife tool, you can also subdivide multiple things at once. So press K for the knife tool. And on the top here, let's go ahead and click once on this edge somewhere, click and let go and move the mouse. And let's go ahead and on the other edge, so don't overlap these two edges, but somewhere across the other edge, click and let go. Then orbit and let's come down across here and come down to this edge and click and let go. And let's say that works for us. Go ahead and press the enter key on your keyboard and then that will stick. And now you have a bunch of different new faces and vertices you can adjust. Now, of course, you could do something with the extrusion tools, but another example is click on the select tool, then press two on your keyboard to switch to edge selection mode, then click once on the top edge to select it, hold shift and pick the right edge to select it, then press S for the scale tool. And you notice now that you can scale those two edges together and click to set that down. So that would be a way to use the knife tool to create some subdivisions and then use those subdivisions to change the nature of the shape. 
Now, if you orbit around to where you have a flat face on the other side here, the knife tool will work even if you're not on edges. So let's talk about what I mean by that. Press K for the knife tool. And we want to use the knife entirely inside of this shape here. So we're essentially going to cut or knife out some sort of a rectangular like shape. So click once on the face and then move the mouse, click again and then move the mouse down, click again, move the mouse over, click again, and then come back up to the original point, click, and then you still aren't done yet. It still has this extra bit wondering if you wanna keep going, but go ahead and press enter for that to take. Now you notice what happens here, whenever you use the knife on a face like this where you don't touch any edges, Blender has to go ahead and guess and it will pick a nearest vertex to draw this extra edge in for you. So it's gonna pick two nearest vertices in order for it to figure out how the shape connects to the face. But that being said, you can click once in space to deselect everything and then press three for face selection mode, click once on the face, and then maybe use the extrude tool again. So press E for the extrude tool. You've already got extrude manifold selected and maybe you extrude that in a bit and then click to set it down. So the idea here is that while we learned how we can subdivide faces and edges to get new geometry to work with, those subdivisions are pre-programmed. So they're gonna split things in half. With the knife tool, there's gonna to be opportunities for us to divide things up however we like. Now, in some cases, this will be to our benefit because we can create new and interesting shapes. But as we'll see down the line, you'll also have to be careful about the way you subdivide things with the knife tool, just so that you don't make things harder when your models get more complex. But you don't need to worry about that yet, just a little tip ahead of time. And then later on down the line, when we get to some more complicated objects, we'll talk about how to use the knife tool in a predictable way that will make sense for you for the majority of the projects you work on. But for right now, you understand how the knife tool works. You understand how you can create new edges and faces to work with. So you're ready to move on to the next lesson. Congratulations, you made it through the lesson. Did you find this video to be helpful? Let us know by giving it a like. If you're ready for the next lesson, you can find it in this playlist. And if you're interested in learning more about how we can help you build the skills you need, head over to blenderacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy blending.